section 5.3 is dividing polynomials. When you divide any uh, polynomial by a monomial, you simply divide each term by that. So now we just do 4 divided by 2 is 2. And when you divide like bases, you subtract. There's a known 1 there, so 2 minus 1 is just 1. And then I get 8 divided by 2 is a 4. And these A's cancel each other out. So that's simply that. I'm going to break this apart individually when I divide these. I'm going to say 4 divided by 2 is 2. X squared cancels X squared. And then I have 2 minus a known 1 there. So 2 minus 1 is just 1 left over. I do this middle term. And I get 6 divided by 2 is 3. Okay. I subtract x's. There's a known 1 here. When I subtract, I get 2 minus 1 is 1, but it's left in the bottom because that's where the bigger coefficient's at, bigger exponent's at. And then I have 2 minus a known 1 here is going to be 2 minus 1 is 1, and that is in the top of the fraction. And then I have my third term. So I have negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2 and then my x term I only have an x in the bottom so I'll leave it there x squared and then I have 2 y squared so I have 2 minus 1 is 1 and it's left in the top so when we divide that's what we get next we're going to use synthetic division to solve and it's just a method so the first thing I'm going to do is we make a little box here and we always do opposite of this so we get negative 2 we always start opposite of that then we bring down the coefficients in front of these these have to be in order x squared x to the first no x so there's a known one here so I'll put one positive 3 and then 2 so we pull all of our coefficients down now the process is we're going to bring down the first term then you multiply negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 and you put it in this position. Add down. 3 minus 2 is 1. After you add down then we repeat the process. Negative 2 times positive 1 is negative 2 and then we add down. 2 minus 2 is 0. This last box is your remainder. Okay, and then to finish this process out, whatever your leading term is, our exponent, our degree is 2, you always go one less. So if this is a 2, I'm going to put um, a degree of 1 here. If this was a 5, I would have put x to the 4th and continue to 1. So since this is a 2, you go one degree less and you do x and you rewrite that as x plus 1. And that's 1x plus 1. Number four, we're going to set that up in our box. We always do opposite. So it's negative five. Make sure these are in descending order. X squared, X, no coefficient. So then I do three, 19, 20. Process says drop the first. Multiply. Negative five times three is negative 15. Now we add down. 19 minus 15 is 4. Multiply. Negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. And then we add down, and this is our remainder, which these have remainders of 0. So then if this is an x squared term, we go on 1 degree less, so it's just an x. So we get 3x plus 4 when we divide that. Our next one, we're going to work one that doesn't have a um, remainder of 0. So I start here, I have a 2. We need to make sure it's in descending order. 3, 2, 1, 0. So it is. We put our coefficients. 3, negative 2, 5, and 4. Drop the first. Then we say 2 times 3 is 6. Add down. Negative 2 plus 6 is 4, 2 times 
times 4 is 8. Add down. 5 plus 8 is 13. Now we multiply again. 2 times 13 is 26. Add down to get 30. Now, if my leading coefficient, my my degree of my polynomial is x to the third, then my answer is going to be one degree less. So x squared, x, and then so that's 3x squared plus 4x plus 13. And since I have a remainder this time, I'm going to put plus whatever my remainder is over my original divisor. So that's how your solution looks. If these were out of order, you have to put them in order first. And also, if a term is missing, say this term wasn't there, I would have to put zero as a placeholder. OK, here's a textbook example. If you want to pause this, you can also go through this one as well and um, see the diagram of synthetic division if it helps you. So you can pause it. And this is just an extra example to look at if you need it.